Well, they, they sort of cheat when they pitch you the movie because what they do is they create a, a computer-generated version of Pikachu and then they take a bunch of dialogue that I said in Deadpool and then they stick it in its mouth. So they send you basically like the, your dream audition tape, but they're sending it to me, not me sending it to them. So I saw Pikachu with my voice and like the attitude and all these kinds of, and I just thought, wow, that's just dumb enough that this might work. So I said, I'm absolutely 100% in. And then I took like a crash course in uh, Pokemon. Well, you know, some of it's expositional, so you have to get out certain elements of the script. I'm, I, I wrote on the script as well as a lot of different people did, so some of it feels like improv, but it's also stuff I've written already. And then there's like usually in each, each motion capture session where I'm covered in hundreds of different tracking dots and cameras and all kinds of stuff, I'll take two hours at the end and I'll just freestyle. We'll just have fun and just try different stuff. So lots, lots is improvised, I guess. I think, you know, loyal is, loyalty's massive for me. That's a big one. I tend to have similar traits to Pikachu in that I sort of have a tendency to have like a running, I, I sort of editorialize everything I'm doing. Like I, I'm constantly saying what I'm seeing and talking about things, filtering it through my own sort of warped prism. Uh, and Pikachu does that a lot. And uh, so I love that about it. That's why the role sort of felt like a match made in heaven. It's always weird to me when like, you know, really heavily bearded people are like wearing like the Pokemon onesie because it's just like, wow, you're such an adult. Uh, so that that's always a bit of a shock. Not weird, just kind of a shock. It takes a minute to adjust and then I'm like, okay, I'm into this. Between Deadpool and Pikachu, ooh, wow, that's a tough one. I kind of feel like Pikachu might, you know? Um, even though he doesn't swear, he's very powerful. He can, he could create some actually like actual real superpowers, whereas Deadpool's just mostly sarcastic. I think he would do pretty damn well. I feel like he'd make it right to the end. I feel like he'd be part of the like after credit sequence. Probably like Mr. Mime, because he would do some pretty terrible things with Mr. Mime. Mime is he's kind of the, 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 that whole thing is just, uh, my kids are obsessed with Mr. Mime. I, and I'm sort of disappointed that they are. There's like way cooler ones like Charizard or I don't know, even Psyduck, even Psyduck. A lot of people don't realize is that my performance in this movie was done largely in a dark room with a thousand cameras attached to my face. Toward the latter half of shooting, they had a big screen up so I could kind of, Pikachu would move as I moved, like it was all done in real time. That was pretty awesome because you could just do sort of weird, obscene things as Pikachu and no one would ever know.